Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can remove silent parts from your videos using Snappy AI's video silence remover. It's completely free. And as of right now, as of today, this is the only tool in the market that's free and is generating videos without any sort of watermarks and so on and so forth. So it's very simple to use. I created a similar video a few months back and a lot of you guys started watching that video and the version or the product has changed since then. So just want to make this new video on how to use the new version of video silence remote. So once you log into app.snappy.ai, you will see something like this and you can go ahead and click on video silence remote. So once you jump on this page, you'll see a couple of things, right? The, the first thing is upload your file and then there is trim preference. Then there is remove background noise. Now, if you are someone who's you know, a YouTuber like me or is creating course videos, it's very straightforward. All you need to do is just upload your file and process it. But if you're someone who knows a little bit more about the video editing space, or maybe someone who's a video editor, you also have options to kind of, you know, customize the kind of cuts you want to make, right? So I'm going to walk you through that as well. But as of right now, let's just say you want to, you know, you're a YouTuber or a course creator, or maybe you want to edit your podcast. It's very straightforward. Just click on upload file and choose the file that you'd want to edit. So I'm going to be uploading a short video that I have in my computer. It takes a couple of seconds before the file is uploaded. And then you can choose to remove the background noise if you have any in the video. If you don't have background noise, feel free to kind of move forward. Now, once you upload your video, it's done right at this point. If you're someone who's a course creator or a YouTube video editor, or, you know, maybe someone who wants to just make crisp product demos, you're at this point ready to go, right? But if you're someone who's, you know, very clear with respect to what kind of silent pieces you want to remove from the video. You have more options here. So let's say you are in a studio where there is low background noise and you want to make more steeper cuts. You can choose the low background noise setting here. And if you're somewhere in the, you know, in a public place like a traffic or cafe making vlogs of sorts, then you can choose the high background noise setting. You can also go ahead and, you know, be creative and select the custom settings, in which case you can see that if you go behind in the slider that's suited for quiet background and if you go forward in this uh, slider it's suited for loud background so it will consider lower decibels of voice as silent in most cases you can keep this as default and it will do the trick because it works very well for or is optimized for almost all the use cases so you keep it straightforward just select the default mode enable the background noise if you want and then go ahead and click on process file now it will take a few seconds before the processing begins because it's kind of, you know, checking certain bits in the background and in a couple of seconds, the processing will start, right? And you will get like a progress bar, bar of sorts where the processing will happen in real time. Now, if you're someone who has a bunch of videos and wants to process all of these videos at the same time, then you can, you know, ignore the uh, progress bar here and just click on upload again and then click on process again. That way you can have multiple files being processed at a specific point of time. But if you only want to edit say one video and you know, just post the editing, it's right after it's ready, you just want to move it forward. Then, you know, just stay on the screen. Uh, in most cases, you will get your file before it reaches hundred percent. Takes a few seconds if your video is not too long, but if your video is say 10, 15 minutes with say 1080p, then it's going to take a while, right? So maybe 20 minutes or so on and so forth. But again, you don't need to be here on the screen. Once the processing is done, you'll get an email with the video and it will also be visible here for you to download right so it's not mandatory for you to stay in the screen is what i mean you can see the video is ready the original video was 27 seconds the final video is 22 seconds it made 10 cuts and it saved you five seconds of editing time i'm sure it's going to take way more than that but the video is edited right so that's how the video silence remover at snappy works you can go ahead and give it a shot if there are any questions feel free to reach out to me you know by sending your questions in the comments but i hope this video adds value to you thank you so much guys and have a good day